Hi y'all, I'm Evelyn. I'm one of the librarians here at AADL and this is your first uh, midweek magazine roundup. You might not know that AADL has a huge magazine collection and I wanted to highlight a couple of cool ones that you could check out if you're interested. You can find all of these in our catalog. So for this first roundup, I'm going to be doing uh, hobby magazines and I have three, so you can see I've marked them up a lot. So I have Michigan History, Backpacker, and Bicycling. So let's start with Bicycling. This is a magazine for adult cyclists, um, and this particular issue um, is a Black Lives Matter one. Uh, this is Tamika Butler on the cover. She's a bicyclist and an activist. Um, this article was really great. Um, it has a lot of different interviews with black cyclists about why anti-racism in the cycling world matters. Um, I really liked that. I found some of it um, stuff I hadn't thought about before, some of it things I had thought of before, but all really interesting. Um, a few interviews with black women in particular who were talking about um, needing to be really careful of where they cycle based on if it's going to be safe or not, um, and also talking about the predominance of police stopping black cyclists much more than white cyclists. So I thought that was really interesting. Then it sort of annoyed me because it went right from that, literally the next page is this article here, which is a long feature piece called Magic of the Universe, um, which is about two white men who cycle across Europe and upper Asia and meet up with each other. And there's no talk in it at all about how the fact that they are white men is kind of what allowed them to do this, um, to do this long bike ride with no plan and not knowing where they were going. And then in the rest of the magazine also, almost all the other people featured are white. So mm, B work, I'd say, for bicycling. But if you're a cyclist and you're interested in learning about different gear, there's tons of stuff in here for both um, road and mountain bike cyclists. So that's cool. So bicycling, you can check that out. Then this one is backpacker. Um, so personally, I cycle. I have been backpacking, but um, like 10, 15 years ago. So it's been a minute. Um, I do like camping, but uh, you know, backpacking is its own thing. And this particular issue is all about winter, um, winter hiking and camping, which is definitely not my thing, but is pretty cool. There's stuff in here with information about how to stay safe and warm um, and comfortable while you are backpacking in the winter and in snow. And also in their um, places to go list, Michigan's own Pictured Rocks, National Lakeshore in the UP gets a shout out. So I thought that was cool. So this is Backpacker. And then finally, this is Michigan History by the Historical Society of Michigan. And I just think this is the greatest little magazine about Michigan. Um, as you can see, it's got all kinds of features about different parts of Michigan history. The feature article in this one was about the Green Book in Detroit. So listing places where uh, black folks would be safe to go in Jim Crow era times. There's also some just great stuff about like different places you can go to in Michigan um, and places to visit. There's a really cute little article about how they uh, were having a problem with one of the ships that you could go visit because it was too close to the water. So they, I don't know, moved to the bridge up higher or something. So stuff like that, that's really neat. And then this, you know, history and then they also have in here an article on um, resurrection, resurrectionists, excuse me, in U of M's medical history in the U of M medical school. So I thought that was really cool because I think that's a really interesting subject and it was interesting to read about it in relation to the University of Michigan and what they were doing to uh, advance medicine at a time when they didn't have a legal way of getting um, bodies to work with. So that's just all really neat. And then here's a little thing from Manny the Moose. 
is this magazine's mascot, which I just think is adorable. And Manny the Moose here has a little suggestion for a trip you can take along a railroad, old railroad track in Northern Michigan. So if you're interested in Michigan history, this is a good one for you. All right, I'll see you next week for the next magazine roundup when I'll be taking a look at craft magazines. Have a good one. Bye-bye.